people want to know, man. Joao Felix to Barcelona. A crazy story that you became a part of four years ago. Mm. 120 million euros mm -hmm, mm -hmm. acquired from Benfica to Atletico Madrid. The most expensive signing in Atletico Madrid's history. A crazy, dramatic four years followed that. And we see Joao Felix now be loaned out mm -hmm. to Barcelona. But it's not about the title of alone. It's about the, the emotion behind it for Joao. Yeah. The fact that it became very clear and obvious that he wanted that move. Right. Reminiscent of the saga that we saw with Griezmann at one point. The difference, that one actually took two, three years to actually happen. Mm -hmm. This one was almost by force. Joao sees himself leave Atletico Madrid and go over to Barcelona. Your thoughts? I don't have much to say here. Joao Felix, from the moment he opened his mouth this summer, I just... Yeah, I looked, I looked the other way because I knew he wasn't a colchonero. He never bought into Simeone's tactics. I think, honestly, since day one, there was always that, there was always that question. Can Felix be as offensive as he was at Benfica under a tactician like Diego Simeone? That was a conversation going into the club. I think it got to his head. He started to believe that there was discourse. And then I think he manifested that out, and it just never worked. There's never been really a spell of over two, three weeks where Felix looked good for Atletico. Super spotty throughout his entire career here in Spain or in Madrid. And yeah, I mean, good riddance, honestly. Like, I'm glad to have him gone. I hope, I hope after this loan, he doesn't really come back. I hope that we just ship him off. We get some money because, yeah, he just never bought into it, bro. And if you're not going to buy into Atletico, then yeah, what are you doing here? you got to buy into Yeah, you got to buy into it, bro. You, you got to. If, if you don't want it, then get out, you know? And I, th I think he realized that this summer. Good for him. But yeah, I just I don't want him to be a part of my club no more. I just don't. And he's dead to me, essentially. Essentially. Yeah. But I think, ultimately, do you concede that this was, this was a miss from Atletico's board? Well, if you think about it, not even from Atletico. If you think about it, like, biggest busts over the last, like, 10 years, Felix has got to be top 10, maybe, just because of the price tag. Mm -hmm. He costs the same as Jack Grealish. <laughs> I think even more, man. A little more. Is, that's Caicedo money, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. So you do that comparison, Felix is nothing. You don't think there's more for him to give to, to produce? Out the, like, do you think he's reached his peak? Oh, yeah. You yeah, think yeah, so? Yeah. I, I, I even, so much so that, like, it's not even about him working out at Atletico. I don't know if Felix is actually that good. You don't think he's that good? Right. Very good on the ball. Has great ideas. He can, can be inventive. But I don't think Felix can produce on a consistent basis. Not at the highest level. Take him back to Portugal. Sure, I think yeah. he could score 20, 25 goals a season. Why not? But when you start getting top five territory, Felix can be good and obviously he can fit in with anybody but if you're asking him to assist if you're asking him to score i don't know if felix can do it at any of the highest levels disappointing but yeah it's, it's just disappointing. disappointing right yeah. uh so yeah i mean yeah so felix well, yeah, it's just how it is hope is that let's see how much atletico can get for him if they can bamboozle somebody in the market bro right I, honestly if they can even get half of that back if i could get 50 for him that's a dub. That's a dub, bro. And I'd be very happy with that. I think he could be a $50 million player. He has incredible technique. So I think we could, you know, in today's inflated market, I think we could send money. I just get excited because if we can, then hopefully we can just get some sort of solidity in an offensive position by buying somebody, man. Yeah. So yeah, that's my whole hope here. Maybe next year in the offseason, we, we actually purchase a good offensive player. <laughs>